What's up guys, Sam here, and we are back and ready to go, this time with my top five Android apps for the month of September. This time, productivity is the name of the game, with the majority of these apps being super useful, utilitarian apps, but don't worry, I've got the gamers covered too. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So first up today, we have a tiny little app called Tiny Scanner. As you can probably guess by the name, this little app turns your phone into a portable scanner, allowing you to take images of documents, photos, receipts, and in actual fact, just about anything and everything, and turn them into fully fledged, high quality PDF documents. Once you capture the image of your document, the app then automatically adjusts the edges, but then you can reposition them quickly as well. And once you hit submit, you're given a detailed PDF or image of that document. From there, you can go ahead and share it with whoever needs it, or my personal favorite technique is to upload it directly to Google Drive and then download that PDF onto my computer. This app is great for scanning things ultra quickly. I can scan an entire chapter of a book using this app before my normal scanner can scan a single page. It's a breeze to use, does exactly the job, and I highly recommend it. Next up, we have Quick Reply, which is an app that brings the Android 7.0 Nougat feature of inline message replies to devices yet to upgrade to the latest Android OS. The app works with most of the well-known third-party SMS applications, and it works perfectly with Texture SMS, which is what I'm currently using, and it performs borderline flawlessly. It also works with WhatsApp, Chomp SMS, Hangouts, and Skype, as well as plenty more. So now when you're watching a video on YouTube or reading an article, you don't have to leave the app to reply to a message. You can just hit reply on the heads up notification, compose your message and hit send and you're done. As well as the inline quick reply feature, you can also use floating chat heads, which is similar to the Facebook Messenger feature, which leaves a little icon there to which you can keep alive on your screen to reply to at a later date. What I love about this app is mainly the design and also how smoothly it operates. It is free to download, although there is a paid edition which unlocks a whole host of features, including the ability to add custom direct replies for quick responses on the go, so I would definitely recommend getting the paid edition. So if you're the sort of person who loves the idea of having that Nougat feature on your device, then definitely check this app out. Next up, we have a camera app on steroids called Open Camera. As the name would indicate, this basically opens up the camera on your smartphone, unlocking all the potential it has. Among a whole host of epic features this camera app has, including full manual control over every camera setting, configurable options for your volume control keys, support for some external microphones, grid overlays, the option to take a photo using a sound from your voice, and the ability to take raw photos among hundreds of other features. My personal favorite feature is the ability to record 4K video without limitation. Normally, recording 4K video using inbuilt camera apps limits the length of the videos to five minutes. Now, this is fine if you're going to constantly be holding and controlling your phone, but what if you want to set up a tripod with your phone and leave your phone recording for longer? Well, open camera allows you to do just that. Now, obviously this then means you are limited only by your phone's storage size, so make sure you have enough space free, but that feature as well as a massive list of others make this app a great tool for filmmakers who are starting out using their phones. Add to that that it's free and this becomes a must-have app. After that, we have Vovu, a clever yet relaxing puzzle game that you can play at any time, anywhere, and for as long or as little as you so desire. The aim of this soothing game is to connect these little dots to the matching colored circles by rotating a set of semicircles that obstruct the way. Initially, the game progresses quite quickly given the ease at which the levels are completed, but this is all just to teach you and as the game goes on, the levels become more and more difficult. Probably one of the best parts of this game though is the sound design and music. It's incredibly minimalistic and the delicate piano playing in the background is ultra relaxing. What I really love about this game is that it doesn't make you feel overly addicted or frustrated if you can't complete the levels. And so because of that, it's great to have in your arsenal as you can kill as much or as little time as you need with it. And finally today we have Quick Contact Edge, an app that brings a feature normally only found on the Samsung Galaxy Edge devices onto any device at all. It really couldn't be any more simpler than that. A swipe over from the left or right opens a list of contact photos and clicking on any brings up a list of quick actions including SMS, WhatsApp and the dialer. You basically have the option to add two pages of contact as well as two pages of application shortcuts. And so if you're someone who just wants everything accessible to you without having to go through different layers of apps, this app is designed for you. This is the free edition, which basically limits how many quick shortcuts you can have. So buying the paid edition would enable that feature. 
Now, a bonus app I have for you today is a game called Mars. This is a platform adventure game in Mars in a time where fictional company Mars Corp have reached a point where human flight to Mars is possible and as the player, you can now explore Mars on a jetpack. The game is dead simple, in fact, probably even a little too simplistic, but you've got to jump from platform to platform using the jet boosters correctly with only a set amount of jumps for each round. It does take some time to get used to navigating using the jetpacks and hopefully with future updates to this game, there'll be more of a story, but given the visually impressive graphics and great sound design, I couldn't go without mentioning this game. Anyway, that is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy these apps and you're able to use them well in your day-to-day -day life. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.